What is going on guys? It is Patrick here and today I'm coming at you guys with another top five and today we're going to be going over the top five worst guns in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Treyarch has made the guns in Black Ops 3 Zombies much better but I think it would be a huge disservice if we were to say that all guns are perfect in this game. Anyways guys, let's get into it. Also, leave a like. Anyways, let's do this. Coming in at our number five spot, we have the XM-53, and I don't want to rag on this gun too much, but at the end of the day, it is a launcher, let's be serious, it's not going to make any top lists. The XM-53 was a big disappointment for me, it's kind of got the same vibe as the RPG from Black Ops 2, it just shoots super super fast, it's kind of just like, it's like a missile more than it is a rocket, it just shoots very quickly, gets the zombies, and it kills relatively good on earlier rounds, it's not a bad gun it's whatever but again at the end of the day it's a launcher and I, I don't think anyone in their right mind would use this gun realistically now honestly I'm very disappointed with the XM53 it looks cool and you pack a punch it and it really doesn't get a whole lot better I mean we've had the law from Black Ops 1 like you laying down the law with that thing right we have the RPG from Black Ops 2 one of my favorite guns in that game completely honest I absolutely love it but then we get to this thing, the XM53, and it's just like, no upgrades, nothing. It's just, it's just your typical launcher. It doesn't really do much. It's just, it's just not a very good gun. And realistically, anyone in a normal sense of mind w would not use this thing realistically. It's just a bad gun. It comes in at number five. Well, it's time for everyone to start hating me. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the Wonder Wolf DG2. I said that right, yes. The Wonder Wolf DG2 on a top 5 worst guns list. I know, it's ridiculous. Let's talk about this. So, the Wonder Wolf used to be a great gun. It was a one-shot kill to any round, infinite damage. It was just absolutely amazing. It didn't kill a lot of zombies. I think it was like 10 to 15, depending whether it was pack and punch. But it was good. And then we roll out with Black Ops 3, and everyone is so excited for the Wonder Wolf. I remember the first time I got this thing, I was like, yes, it's back. And then it was like, no, no, it, it, it's not, it, it, it's not the same gun. I genuinely thought it was broken. And I was like, oh, like maybe it's a work in progress because the giant is like older. But no, it just sucks. The Wonder Wolf is terrible. It's absolutely terrible in Black Ops 3. Now, I know what everyone's going to be saying, Patrick, but in your video, it's killing the zombies. It, ha it can't be that bad. It, look how many zombies it's killing. Oh, okay. Like, let's think about this. This thing is killing them no better than Blast Furnace or Fireworks would, but oh wait, it doesn't even have bullets, so I'm not going to get any points for it. It kills super slowly, so if I get trapped in a quarter, I'm going to die, and at the end of the day, any pack and punch upgrade can replace this. The Wonder Wolf DG2 is an absolute disappointment, terrible gun, comes in at number 4. Moving down to the number 3 spot on our list, we are going to have the Shiva. Now, the Shiva is just your classic starting room semi-automatic assault rifle. That's really all it is. So I don't want to rag on this gun too much either because I really, I'm never expecting too much with starting guns. But I gotta say, the Shiva really, even, like, it was very underwhelming as a starting gun. The M14 is, is by far much better than this thing. It's basically trying to be a modern day M14, but it's just failing. It's just like, nah. Shiva, you can't do it. You got more ammo, you got more guns, you got more bullets in your gun, in your magazine, but at the end of the day, it's just it's just not that great. It's just a very underwhelming gun. Uh, I used it for a challenge, I did a starting room only challenge, it just, I was like, alright, this is gonna be the gun that saved me, and you know, it really ended up being the RK5 was much, much better, so I gotta say, it's just a very disappointing gun. I mean, I wasn't expecting a lot, but I was expecting a little bit more, and to deny that this is not one of the worst guns, which is not really trying to be the greatest gun, uh, but to deny that it's not one of the worst guns would be silly. So anyways, the Shiva, I'm not hating you, you're doing you, you're doing your thing, but you come in at number three. Now moving down to the number two spot on our list, we've got the old Gorgon. The Gorgon, what kind of name is Gorgon to begin with, but wow, talk about disappointing. You want to look at the Gorgon. The Gorgon is a light machine gun, which typically from Treyarch games have always been very, very strong guns, but not the Gorgon. 
The Gorgon is kind of like the brother of the HK-10 light machine gun from Black Ops 1, except when the Gorgon was in the womb, its mother drank, like, every single night and got Nikolai Blackout drunk. Um, so what I'm saying is it's a little bit slow. A little bit slow. Its rate of fire is, like, one bullet a second. Maybe. Like, well, like, I don't understand how this is supposed to be a viable gun in zombies. The only way that this thing could possibly work at all, uh, at all is you gotta pack and punch it, you gotta throw double tap on. Not even double tap, we need, like, a quadruple tap. And then, maybe you'll be able to camp with it. But other than that, like, this thing is just the, the essence of, like, some very slow, dumb person that just can't move, can't shoot can't reload it just it, it is just so goddamn slow i could finish the buried easter egg before this thing takes out a horde and reloads so yeah it comes in at number two now guys before we get in to the number one spot i wanted to do two honorable mentions we have at number one honorable mention the argus the most inaccurate piece of junk i've ever seen in my life. This thing is like a tree stump. I don't even know how that makes sense, but it just reminds me of a tree stump. The Argus is like, oh, this is a cool gun. Like, it's like, you know, whatever. And then you start using it and you're like, oh, never mind. This is not that cool. It's good in multiplayer. I'll say straight up. I think it's good when you use it well in multiplayer. But in zombies, man, it just does not have a place. You need to be able to hit the zombies accurately. And when you're using this thing, accuracy is just not an option. It's like, it's hit or miss. It is literally hit or miss. And at the end of the day, you have so many amazing options with shotguns. You've got the Brecky, the Haymaker. Why in your right mind would you use the Argus? I mean, they could have at least done like a pack-a-punch thing where it like was dual weld. Really surprised they didn't do that. Like, kind of reminds me of the models from uh, Modern Warfare 2. But man, it's a bad gun. Anyways, it's, a, it's an honorable mention. It's not bad enough for top five, but it's, ugh, it hurts me. And the other honorable mention I wanted to throw in is the SVG. Now, again, this isn't really like a terrible gun. Just more of the fact that I don't know why you would use this thing. You've got the Dracon and the Locust. Two of the best snipers. Actually, no, the two best snipers in zombies ever. Why would you use this DSR wannabe? It just doesn't make sense to me. It's really not that bad. And honestly, at the end of the day, it's probably better than the DSR now that I think about it. But honestly, like, it's just, there's no point to use this thing. That's why I'm throwing it in for an honorable mention. Coming in at our number one spot on the list of the top five worst guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, it's the Pharaoh. Dear God, this thing is bad. Now, this thing isn't like SMR bad or War Machine bad, and Black Ops 3 definitely did a good job of, of taking those guns out completely, which I'm a little bit sad because it's fun to make fun of them, but at the same time, it's nice. But man, the Pharaoh looks like it's going to be at least decent. It looks like a distant cousin of the Weevil, maybe, but then you start shooting it, and you realize it's just a straight Chicom wannabe that, that can't do anything. Like, I'm on round eight. I'm trying to shoot the zombies in the head. And it's like, nope, 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 nope. Oh, okay, they're dead. Okay, eight bullets later, they're dead. Nice job, nice job, Fairy. You got it. Oh, wait, there's 17 zombies behind me now, and I'm dead. The Pharaoh is just, it, it's so, like, ridiculously, surprisingly bad. I, I honestly, I wasn't even going to put it in at my number one spot. And I started using it. I was like, what? Is this real? Like, I, I never had genuinely used it before. And it's just, it's just so bad. It, it makes me cry. And it comes in at the number one spot. But anyways, guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could please leave a like, support it as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. That would be great. Um, and just a little disclaimer, I am extremely sick right now. If you couldn't tell by the way my voice sounds, um, so I, that's probably why I sounded a little bit weird when I was trying to yell in this video. Uh, but anyways, these are always really fun to do. I love doing the hate top fives just to get all the hatred I have for guns out of my system. Even if I go a little bit over the top with these things, don't mean everything I say but it's just a lot of fun to do these anyways hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you later peace john cedar